Libertines and Can't Stand Me Now on Radio X. It's a great radio station, this, isn't it? Isn't it? We play some right good stuff. Yeah, some do. right good tunes. Right, we're on Facebook now on the Chris Moyle Show on Radio X Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Uh, go to it if you're not watching. The Chris Moyle Show on Radio X. Uh, that's our Facebook page. And we're live. And uh, are we on YouTube and Twitter, Alf, and all that? Yeah, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Shebang. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. Sing a Ricky Martin song before Liam gets yeah. in. Uh, and Liam is on his way. He'll be down here in a few seconds. Yeah. So you'll see him. And we're going to play his new song, uh, which is Shockwave, which is our... And it's our record of the week this week. Yes, it is. It is, and it's brilliant. Right, here he comes in. Let's, let's see how lovely this hair is that I've heard so much about. There he is. Morning, fella. Morning. How are you? Morning. Come and sit uh, down here. On this one. You look very tanned. Oh, we're live. We're live on air at the moment. <laughs> you, yeah, we're live. Oh. You've not even no, sat down yet. From uh, went to Greece for a bit on a holiday. Yeah, nice. And then we done a gig in Italy yesterday down near Sicily, man. It was about oh, forty nice. degrees, man. It mm. ripped me head off. So. And now, and then, welcome home. There's the weather today. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> glad, mate. Really? Yeah, man. I thought it'd be. I was probably. I was fingers crossed it was snowing. <laughs> Can't handle that heat, man. It's just too much. When it's too hot. Like 35 degrees on stage, you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, I guess, when you're on stage. Sign up for that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't wear parkas and stuff like that. It's not cool. Do you, do, you, do you drink booze when you're on stage now, or do you drink water? Just water, man. Yeah. In Back- the days, no, and no, I've not drank booze on stage since, like, that famous Wembley gig. Remember that one when it all went a bit... Oh, we all remember that one. I was there. I was, there. Yeah, was, I was there for that. Yeah. yeah. Apparently people like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> But I know I've stayed clear to that, man. I don't, you know, it's just water, man, and stuff like that. I mean, I mean every now and again, depends Depends if it's a short gig, you know what I mean? I might have a little yeah. cheeky tequila and that just yeah, to yeah. get a party started. But would you, but, take I, the edge off. but would you, uh, mo- most performances you did back in the day, you'd have had a couple of drinks before you went on. Oh, and the rest, yeah. But that's interesting. That I think as you get older, though, you know what I mean? You just can't do it, can you? you know what I mean? When you're 20 and that, you can do what you want. I used to smoke ganja on stage and everything. Right. But now, can't you know, do man, it. I'd end up singing... I'd end up singing Taylor Swift songs, you know what I mean? Yeah. I forget what band I'm in. I don't know, there's some good sh- Taylor Swift Oh, she has that, she got off one's good, but, you know what I mean? But, yeah, no, I've got to keep it, got to keep But it's, inter- it's interesting that you didn't make, you didn't, or did you, have a moment where you went, right, I'm not going to drink before the next gig or whatever, I'm just going to go in dry. Because a lot of people, I remember Norman Cook, Fat Boy Slim, mm. when he uh, cut the drink out, mm. he said to me, he went, I'm really nervous about my next DJ gig. I went, why? He goes, I've never DJed without a drink. He goes, I've literally, I've, I've vodka and orange next to me. He goes, I've never DJed yeah. without even one drink inside me. I don't, yeah. I don't know what to do. But it's yeah. funny that you never really yeah. had that. I don't get nervous, man, for gigs. I, honest as God, I don't. If my voice ain't, if I've got a bit of few problems with the voice, I might get a bit nervous thinking, how long is this going to last? You know what I mean? Mm. But uh, once I get on there and it seems to be all right, then nah, I'm all right, man. I don't, but I don't get nervous. I'm mad for it as they say yeah. well that's what you used to say uh, I still say it well, that's it. well you just did <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you're good life is good yeah all good man looking forward to getting back out and doing some more tunes and getting people at it do you get now now that with the, the album obviously which was a massive success right yeah no, no I appreciate that it's huge it. and, and it really I, I don't like saying you're back but I guess you're back doing what you do yeah. uh, when you're not doing it when I'm not back. Are you like, you know, it's like, like, obviously you would have had a bit of a break after the last album, although you did say you, you did a lot of stuff early. Yeah. But do you just get itchy around the house? Yeah, Are you no, a nightmare? I just end up in the pub, mate. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm more safer on tour. Right. Which I know it sounds, you know, diff- a bit weird and that, but like I'm... Because you've got I, something in the diary every day. Yeah, you've got every stuff day, to do so, and all yeah, that, yeah. and you think, you know, yeah. but like if I'm at home and I've got nothing to do, it's just, what else do you do? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? As soon as loose women's over, it's the pub, innit? <laughs> Loose women pub. The and loose women. Well, yeah, pub. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Could sound a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> loose women pub. But you know what I mean. So it's good to be having something to do, so you can focus on it. So. And what's your so on those days when you're a bit itching, you're like, nah, it's gonna go to the pub. Yeah. Do you? Uh, will you quite happily just wander into the pub on your own, yes. or do you have? No, a I don't go. Of, no, I don't go on my own. Do you have a couple of go-to people that you might ring and go? What well, you the do? missus and that. Once she's finished her, what she's doing and that works. Debbie works and that. Like so, but um. Yeah, just me and Debbie and the twin sister and that, we kind of go with pub. So you're at home. But then we you know no people in there. And right, you know I mean? so you're at home, Loose Women finishes and you're like that. Up. Debbie! And Debbie's like, I have got yeah, I've got, to, I've got yeah. stuff to do and you're like, oh, Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, she's easily sweat persuaded as well. You know what I mean? I just go, you know what I mean? I'm really nice. Oh no, you can't say that because now next time she'll be like, no, she, I'm not easily persuaded. No, she, oh, but she is though, man. She is. <laughs> now and when and when you go to the pub on a little noonie session, what yeah. will you? What's your first drink? What's the first drink of choice? Oh, will it be a beer? Won't it? I guess. Right. Have you yeah, ever? I have a couple of. I do drink a lot. I, I kind of drink everything. You know what I mean? Fruity cider. I don't mind cider. Man. I'm all the vices. I don't know about the fruit. I, I like the normal Magnus stuff and that. Right. Oh, you don't like. You've never tried a kiwi and lime. Oh, no, I do like a kiwi and lime. Well, I like that. And, and then vodka. And I can put that vodka away. Mm. Wine, I can get in it. But wine after the bit, you just end up drooling, don't you? you know? <laughs> wine, wine's heavy in it. You know what I mean? Wine can proper sort you out. But yeah, anything. It's a oh, key that a lot, man. I love it. I love it. No running this morning, then I guess. No, because we got back late, so it was just in the bed and. Up you get. And then up for this. Yeah, but I'll be back tomorrow, man. I'll be on that. Back I'll on be, the run. I'll be on that ETH tomorrow, man. And you don't, and you, you were saying to me last time when we talked about you don't listen to music when you run, you just yeah, run. Just run. Because I like to listen to the, the vibes, man. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, no, I've got to listen to music. I watched, I watched, I got on the trend with you that I watched a documentary. <sighs> mm. You'll be having a meal for one next, man. Aren't you? <laughs> I am every night at the moment. I mean, she's away. Doing that, man. Getting the popcorn out. You know what I mean? <laughs> While you're running, no, no music, man. Straight on the you visit the squiddles, waving at people. Yes, yeah. it is me. I high fast. <laughs> <laughs> have you right? And you can be honest with me. Well, I'll be well honest. Have you ever been running, and you've seen someone and they've clocked you, and you're running towards them, and they've, and they've given the double take, and they've gone, oh, yeah, and they've seen it's you, and you've gone, I'm being recognised here. Yeah, yeah. I better speed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get a lot of people following me sometimes. Yeah, yeah. what they'll look, just well, like Forrest Gump. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. I look round, I go. Thirty thousand people come from. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I test them. I go, oh, you're smart man. Now yeah. get up this hill. <laughs> Take them for a spin. Yeah. yeah. I love it. You love your running, don't you? Love it, man. I love it. I, right. should, I, I love it. I do it every day when I can. Do you say it's for your head as much as I mean, anything oh, else, yeah, isn't man, it? I ain't going to have a six-pack, never, you know what I mean? Because the beer's just as important, you know what I mean? Having a good time, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, I don't really eat that. I'm not a health freak, you know what I mean? But I do love yeah. getting up first thing in the morning Please, yeah. and getting out. And mm. I love the morning. I'm a morning person, you know what I mean? So get up and I get out and it sorts my head out, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. It, it's rare that you, for, a, for a, 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 a rock star to coin a phrase that my mum would say yeah. to, to be a morning person it's generally the other way around yeah well no I never used to be though you know what I mean right. obviously but I calm things down a touch you know what I mean but I don't know man I love the mornings man and out mm. on that heath in the morning and there's no one around you know what I mean it's boring on biblical man I get good vibes man yeah mm. and then obviously when everyone else starts coming out they mess it up don't they <laughs> yeah they get in the <laughs> they way they get in the way yeah they do get in the way don't they yeah um, I know someone who sees you uh, sees you out <laughs> all the country. time I was talking to someone recently and they said, uh, I see Liam all the time. And uh, Who's it? My missus? <laughs> no. And, uh, and she, she, she lives near where you would run. Right. And she goes, I see him all the time. It's got to the point, she goes, she goes we've, never, we've never met, because, but we've become waving, oh, gooey, waving buddies. Gooey, yeah. gooey. Cooey buddies. Gooey. Yeah. Cool. And, she's like, she's, and she goes, I see him all the time. And I'm like, I never, ever, ever, ever ever see you and i'm like i'm round your way a fair bit yeah. and uh she goes oh no well we're, we're literally we're cooey buddies we're just like that <laughs> oh yeah you're right how are you yeah, yeah good yeah. yeah lovely we'll bring we'll step we'll make it we'll go one step we'll it'll be toodle pip next yeah exactly <laughs> toodle pip. Toodle pip. let's talk about this this uh this shockwave song mm. You like it, great. I really do, and I, and honestly, I, I I feel I know Radio X has has got an, a bit of an obsession with the Gallagher's and yeah, the Oasis well, and all of that. Nothing else about it, isn't but it? we, you know, but we love it. But this song, dude, it's brilliant. Yeah, it it's, is brilliant. Yeah, it's rocking, man. I love yeah, it. It is. Yeah, it's a good old stomper, man. That's one of the first ones we've done. So we, when we did that, when we started the album, we've done about six in seven days out in LA, and then that was it. We've done, wow, we've that's done all like pretty much all of the, the singles that you're gonna wear. In the next couple of that's quick, months. isn't it? Yeah, that's really quick. So we had it done in a week, really. Well, half of it, you know what I mean. So then we had like loads of time off, yeah, in the pub and messing about, and then we went back in and finished the rest of it off like about a couple of months ago. Do you do you, you record it in LA as you're saying? Yeah. Does it matter where you record it? Do you care? I don't know. No, um, you get more distracted, I think, in England, you know what I mean, right. But no, it doesn't matter, man, as long as the studio's cool, you know what I mean. Do you like it in LA? Do you like it there? Yeah, I wouldn't live there though. You wouldn't? No, I can't live there, man. 
Do you have any? Do you have it's your little between? Is it? It's either really. I find it's either really moody and dark, and there's a dark energy there, or it's completely Disney. Yeah, and it's super fake. You know what I mean? There's no in between. I don't think there's no in between. It. You know what I mean? I find that I've got a lot, a lot of friends who live out there, and they they all kind of eventually become all quite spiritual. Yeah, in LA, there's that vibe going. But then I kind of treat it like uh, it, it's like London. London can be. Chelsea, Knightsbridge, Notting Hill, or it could be Brixton, Kentish yeah. Town. It can be, it mm. can, you can make of it what you want. And I, you know, like when I'm in LA, I like to go for a nice dinner and then I'll end up in a little dirty boozer. Oh, yeah. And just kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah, no, I like it, man. I, like, I stay down in that beach, that Santa Monica vibe. I like going down there. It's nice down there. And all the lunatics are out in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, another thing about them, they're nice, man. Not one of them, they don't mind you for any cash in that, you know what I mean? Not like. Some places, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Give someone a ten and they go like that. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, that's that. nice, isn't it? I got. I was walking through Santa Monica. I don't know if I said this to you before. I was walking through Santa Monica once, and the guy, this the guy, like a homeless guy, walks towards me across the street, and I've got a smoke on the go, and he goes, uh, "You got a cigarette?" And I went, uh, "Yeah, sure." He goes, "What is it?" And I went, "It's Marlboro Light." And he went, "Nah," yeah. I just walked off. <laughs> you know I mean? I didn't Did take it. it. Fussy. And I'm that's like, nice. wow, look at that. I love that. Anyway, look. It's nice to see. I don't know how we got into that. Um, the song is Shockwave. Um, it is a great song. You did it live for the first time the other night when you did the gig on, uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know how it sounded. So if it sounded naff, I apologise. But we will get it. It will be bouncing at some point. Um, it is the Radio X record of the week. This week. Cool. Nice one. Let's play it because Liam is here and then we'll come back and we'll talk about some other stuff. Right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our record of the week is Liam Gallagher and Shockwave.
That is a tune, Mr. Liam Gallagher. Thank you, thank you. I'd, really? like, to take, I'd like to take all the credit for it, but uh, I think I will. Do yeah. it. Yeah, do I think it. you should. Yeah. Uh, written, produced, right. recorded, mixed, engineered, and mastered by Liam Gallagher. There you go. That's Play it. every instrument on that track. Yeah. Every yeah. instrument. And the sleeve. Did the sleeve as did well. The sleeve as well <laughs> yeah. Did the sleeve. Did yeah. the works. Uh, you can get it now. You can download it now. Shockwave Liam Gallagher. And uh, we were just saying off the air as well about the um, the documentary film. Yeah. Which is out. You can see that as well. It's yeah. out today as well on DVD. Yeah. Blu-ray as You've well. You've not seen it yet, have you? No, I haven't. It's it's good. I'm, yeah. I'm apparently, it apparently all the posh folk are up in arms about it. People like The Guardian and stuff like that. Why? In a good way, or...? Not having it. Not having it? Yeah. I'm glad they're not having it. <laughs> that means I'm doing something wrong if they're having it. Yeah. I've, you know I mean? I've only heard... Well, hey, they're not having it. Come on. <laughs> It's all right. Just relax. <laughs> You're in a good mood. I am in a good mood. Don't just let him bring you down. Let him know that I'm watching him. Don't let him bring you down. Don't bring me down. You don't want to bring me down, mate. We were talking off air this morning about your Twitter. You and Twitter, right? You don't... I thought you said Twitter, then. No, Twitter. Twitter, yeah. You don't follow anybody on Twitter. Mm -hmm. You've got three million followers and you follow nobody. Yeah, yeah. So... When you when we all go on Twitter, the first thing it does is the timeline of everyone you follow, and it's everybody writing about whatever. So yours is just empty. Empty man. And then you just go into your replies, I guess. Oh, about me, yeah. Re <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because I don't really, I'm, I'm not, I don't really do much on that social media. I just either just give just my write opinion it. on stuff, or mm. wind someone up and that, or take the piss and that. I don't really oh. do any. Sorry about that. Don't really do much of that. You know what I mean? So. I'm. I'm not interested in anyone else, really. My, the, the tweets you write, sometimes uh, I get a proper kick out of them. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> and, and last time you were in, I think, my favourite at the time was you tweeted, the sun has got his hat on. Oh, yeah. But what I love is looking at, looking at how many people retweet it how many people like it and how many people then reply to it yeah. and like for me I read that and it just makes me smile and I keep on scrolling but some people get right stuck in and they reply yeah. hip 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 hooray yeah, oh, yeah. And <laughs> oh yeah they want a proper song and dance about it but... <laughs> or they analyse what you tweet yeah well I guess it is something that it is a gate hold to what's going on inside my head isn't it but do you ever just go I'm just going to tweet something which is nonsense and just let them all try and work up constantly I think you should tweet okay I'll do it yeah. And then leave it. I might have done that many times. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you could I might have done that. There's not much you haven't tweeted. It's a on sale now. <laughs> um, so the album is Why Me, Why Not? Yeah. When are we When are we getting that? I think that's out in September, I think. So there's going to be a couple more singles before it. But yeah, September. Good. Don't ask me why. But that's the way... That's just what, because. That's just the way it is, man. Um... What else can we expect on the album? Pretty much the same as the last. There's a couple of more songs like Shockwave. Right. There's one called uh, there's uh, there's one called The River, which is absolutely proper a beast of a tune. I don't think it'll get on the radio because it's too heavy. But you know, if someone's you know someone mm. wants to play it, play it. But that's a tune. Oh, it's a heavy track. Yeah, it's heavy, man. It's heavy, like heavy, as in makes you just wanna. It's like a bulldozer, man. It's heavy, more heavier than that. So there's that, and then there's one called Once, which is more of a ballady kind of like a Pink Floydy Bowie kind of thing, which is mega. Mm. And there's a couple of little, you know, little ones. There's one on there that we've done for me daughter Molly. So oh now sweet. That I found you and that. What's it called? Now that I found you. No, I mean no. not that she was lost or anything. No, she was, <laughs> she was captured by the Taliban or anything like that. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's like, but it's got that kind of like, now that you're in my life kind of vibe. Like it's cool. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's good. Do you yeah. have a, do you have a favourite track or not? Um. Uh, I like them all, man. You know what I mean? All kind of a little bit different. You know what I mean? But I'm, at this moment in time, I'm digging shockwaves, man. But once, it's a, it's a good. Do you know what I like? It's, it's just, the, it's, it's just, it's proper. That's mm. what it is. It's not. You know, and I'll say it a million times. I ain't pushing it forward. It doesn't need to be pushed forward. It's just a reminder of what, what, it, how it should sound. You know what I mean? How guitar music, and rock and roll should be. Let it in your face. Good vocals and uh, getting people out with the, the lyrics. The f the first time we played it. A uh, load of people said, a load of people text him going, I like this. Mm. This, I really like it. I liked it. it instantly, didn't they? Yeah. Wow. Which I think is a good, it's always a good sign. Yeah. There's a few tracks on that last album that I just like. Hated. No, no, the opposite. Well, like, because they played me two, tra two tracks. I got yeah. brought into a room and they're going, I'm going to play you. Yeah, I'm going to tracks by Liam and you can't say anything about them and you're not allowed to. And I think they played Wall of Glass, Wall of Glass. and I think they played You're All I Need. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you I like think that it was one, that, yeah. and that was the one which to me I went, 
that now that that like wall of glass is a great tune mm. but you're all i need i'm like that's i love that a nice one i man. like it i like to lose myself in it that's what i like to do liam good, good. well that's what it's about man yes right so what's the plan then so uh, everyone can get shockwave now um you are doing uh, a little festival called glastonbury doing yeah my resident taking up my residency at glastonbury <laughs> yeah again. no so doing glastonbury the eden project doing something in cork and we've got a gig in Prague in like two weeks with Primal Scream, which will be good. Oh, that'll, oh, that'll be good. That'll yeah, be it, a night. It could be, it could be naughty, you know what it I mean? It could be a little mm. bit. Then I, I might have to just backdoor it, you know what I mean? Because then I've got one the next night in Cork or the day after, so I've got to behave, you know what I mean? Mm. So that's that. And then I think that's the, that's it for June, and then I don't know what we're doing after that. Alan McGee. Yeah. They're making a movie about him. They are. And they're looking for someone to play a young you. Yes, they are. I've seen some of them. Have you? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, mate. <laughs> I think it's when I was 20, not 200, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, no, I've seen a few and there's a, there's a couple there's a couple that are like just mentally ill, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a bad way, yeah. but... Just, uh, yeah. A little bit cuckoo and that. But then the rest, there's a couple that are going to be, uh, I think, good, man. I think I've One lad that looks pretty cool. Oh, really? They were asking my kids to do it and that, but... I don't know, man. Mm. Don't, 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 That's a little bit weird. Especially, yeah, of course. That could be a bit weird. Yeah, especially if there's someone playing Patsy and then one of them's got a kiss Patsy. Oh. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, Up a Jeremy <laughs> Kyle tackle, that kid, isn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't think so. <laughs> that's enough. Hey, listen, I might have found I might have found someone... <laughs> What's a... Go on. To, play, to play you. Oh, yeah. So, um, I got tweeted this by um, uh, Mandy, who says, My lad is Liam's biggest fan... Right. Have a little watch. He's only eight, and he'd love a message from Liam. Well, I'm going to do better than that. Um, uh, we've got the video of him singing. Okay. Do you want to watch it? Yeah, man. Where, okay. where am I watching it? So hopefully on these screens here, if they come down. James, make the screens a bit, are they? I know. All right. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Look at him. There right. Is it, so is that a festival? I think he's at one of those festivals where it's all tribute bands, you know, one yeah. of those. Oh, yeah. So I, I think he's playing with an Oasis tribute band. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, he's eight years old, and this is him singing. Oh, mate. Look at this. Got your stance. Yeah, yeah. Stance. He's got his putting that kid out of the. Look at him. Oh, one lad. <laughs> What's he called? I doubt she don't. Uh, she doesn't actually say his. Oh, well, Eva Luca Mammy is. Uh, so it, I, it, Luca, Eva. Luca, I don't yeah. know. I, but I reckon it's probably called Luca. Right, so all three of them names. You're amazing. Well done, man. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah, he's got the gig, and he. Oh, he's rocking it, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, I know you didn't meet uh, Alan McGee when you were eight, but right. if they could shoehorn it in yeah. somewhere, they found him. Yeah. <laughs> we can do another one another time, but he's good, man. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, well, I look. Uh, <laughs> if I uh, if I don't see him before. Okay, with his arms up. Go on, lad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go on, man. Uh, Glastonbury is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to the Glastonbury yeah, set. Going down I am, sir. I'm going to yeah, be there. Can't wait, man. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be in, and you're. By the time you come on, I'll be a couple of ciders in. So I'll be jealous, man. I'm, 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 that's it. I'm going to hold it off until then, and then I'm having it because I think we've got about two weeks off. So I'm definitely going to have a bit of a night after that. And when are we going out? Come on. Well, let's do it, Glastonbury. Oh, really? There you, okay. there you go. <laughs> Hey, right. Scared now, aren't you? No, I'm not scared. It's never, just, no, mate. You know, hey, no, it's just you know, two weeks off the booze, ready my, to go in big time. My Glastonbury, Glast your Glastonbury, a bit different because as soon as your set's done, I'm in a car back to the hotel. So I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll be like, well, oh yeah. <laughs> well, listen, we can have a drink at Glastonbury if you were there, okay, and if we'll not, any other. T when, as soon as this tour's finished. All right, man, we'll do it. Do listen, that. song's great. Thank you. Everything's man. good. We're all excited about the album. Look yeah, after man. yourself till that, till uh, Glastonbury. And love to the uh, to Debbie and the family and everybody. It's all good. Yes, man. Life is good. No complaints from good, me, good, man. Good. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Liam Gallagher. Nice one. The Chris Moyle Show. With KFC's new original Kentucky Mayo Twister wrap. It's finger licking twisted. Bangers and mash. Showers and power ballots. Tea and toast. Some things just belong together. And if you own a small business, your double act is work you and life you. 
So at Starling Bank, we mix pleasure with business too. Manage your bank